Hello and welcome to part three of the Holiday Pack and Chats. I'm Holly and I'm going to just jump right into it. I hope you'll go watch uh, one and two if you've not seen those as of yet. This order is going to a town north of Kansas City. We've been through there many times. We have two Mary Cranberry soaps. We have two Bayberry soaps. Let's see. We have two spiked cider soaps. This is normally a fall thing, but I had a request for it, and um, it was I didn't have enough time to get it into the fall release because it's taking forever to get products from some of these places. Uh, it's not uncommon for us to wait three to four weeks for orders anymore, so we really have to plan ahead on our supplies. We have two of the peppermint stick soap, stripes, peppermint, whatever. Looks like I need to go a little different over here. We have a North Pole scrub. In fact, I want to put, I think I'll just put these ones on the top. So we have two of the Christmas coffee soaps, and I did end up with some good titanium dioxide crackles in those. This just happens sometimes, and that batch got pretty hot. We have two of the flannel and amber. Mm. Yes, that's what we're going to do. So we have that North Pole scrub, and it's just pink and it's a little pink and green and like a cream. You had to be really careful because if they mixed, they were starting to go to brown. And then the coffee is always just so... Mm. It's not that much different than my regular coffee one. It's just, it does have the gingerbread um, addition to it. So that's what we're going to do. So I think I'll just go ahead and do these face side down. And there we go. Did not look all nice and snug in there. So I'm on my third video, and I'm sitting here thinking, what can I talk about? <laughs> I try to, I try to think ahead and see what we can, what we can talk about. I just heard the weirdest sound. I have no idea what it was. There have been a couple of times up here that a few, a little bit of creepy things have happened. I'm like, what did the people before us do in this house? What has happened in this house? Should I be concerned? I don't really lean towards that way, but I've watched enough Supernatural and Grimm and stuff to be like, say what? What just happened? My kids have had a few things happen in this house, too. And they're like, hmm. Like, hearing a whistle when nobody was whistling and it was like the middle of the night. I don't know. That just creeped me out a little bit, but we're not going to think about that anymore. You want to talk about creepy. Oh, my goodness. We had an old house in Montana. We lived in town. And I think it was built in the early 1900s and it had like a coal shoot and everything. I I was one of those people that if I had to go down to the basement, because that's where we kept like all our canned foods and stuff, I ran like the wind back up those stairs. And I was like, mm -hmm. by the time I got to the top, was, I made it. I made it. Oh gosh, that, that poor thing gave me some, uh, I had a little bit of troubles. Loved that house, but scared me a little bit. It was just, yikes, it was, it was a little scary. Okay, so in with the cocoa and everything. We're doing pretty good. We don't need a lot of extra stuffing because we have this paper wrap that's going to go on there. Yeah, so this uh, place up 
here. Uh, the soap studio is up here in the attic. And there's a lot of attic that's very dark surrounding my like entry into the room. And so I get the heebie jeebies every now and again. I mean, it's always dark up here. There's no light, so it's always going to be dark. But I don't know, at night I get my imagination gets to me a little bit. <laughs> so this first one is for this video is done and headed to to North of Kansas City. Okay, so we have a cute little box here for one soap. This customer chose the Winter Wonderland. Oh, such a good decision, I love that. So I have a really nice, big, thick sample of Sleigh Ride. It's a very similar scent. Kinda like, not really similar, but in the same range. So I thought she might like this for a sample and I don't have any room for the cocoa and such. So with the single soap, single wax melt, single whatever, they just get um, one sample of something. And that's pretty much all that we have the space for. I have weight to take into consideration also because they've paid for first class. So I have everything in there. This is always just so dang cute. I just love how I just love how these all tuck in so nicely. It's adorable. So we still put a little bit of paper wrap there, and I kind of have to move it forward just a little bit to get this tuck in there and then I like to make sure all these little edges are cut you know see how this is like pushed I like to make sure it's pushed down and then I give it a little bit like so and this one's ready to go okay so this order is headed to Texas and I have a cube box and this is going to a longtime customer and so Cassie is on Instagram and she has cakes I think it's I've got to double check this so I don't get it wrong it's cakes and crafts by Cass and let me tell you she is oh my goodness crazy talented when it comes to baking especially. I mean, that's that's what her Instagram is mostly about. She makes the most amazing thing, not only just like homey, most amazing looking chocolate chip cookies and cinnamon rolls and stuff like that, but she makes the most amazing cakes, amazing sugar cookie designs. She's so cool, so go give her a follow because she's hilarious and really one of the most fun and happy people on Instagram, truly. So we have a winter wonderland in a sleigh ride headed out. We have a Christmas coffee and a wild berry blizzard. We have a snow kissed room and linen spray. I'm gonna put a little bit of shred down first. Let's move this over. A hint, we have a package of the Plum Crazy Lights Wax Melt. Now I can easily tuck down some shred. We're going to give it just a little bit more there. And then we're going to put in the Pink Flocked Christmas Tree Melt. Well, that is it. Such a fun or nope, nope. That's not it. <laughs> that's not it. I was like, wait a minute. There's more to be had around here. Okay, yes, we're going to put this just right here. That's perfect. Perfect right there. I have to wonder how many times you guys are watching me and you're like, wait a minute. There's still something there. <laughs> or if you're watching me make soap and like um lady 
The fragrance oil hasn't gone in yet. It's still sitting there. I wish I could hear you. Guys, I don't wear long sleeves for a reason. But I do like to wear long sleeves when I'm making soap. When I'm making bath and body products. Uh, like scrubs, bath bombs, etc. And I like to wear sleeves even though they're pulled up. They're clean. I like to wear them when I'm packing orders. So, But they're a little bit of a pain. I feel like I need, you know in the movies of like the, um, the store owner of the general store. I always had like bands of something. I need those. I do think I need those. So we're going to go in. That one has a little bit of the last wax melt on its corner. So we're going to put in another one. So we have the Home for Christmas Wax Melt, the Holiday Cheers Soap Sample, the Hot Cocoa and Candy Canes. We're going to put in the card and the invoice. And this will be another order headed out. I think Cassie's even been on a Food Network challenge and I can't remember what the name of the show was at the moment I've always I haven't seen it and I really want to see it and um, but I need to I need to be on top of that I don't watch a lot of like TV TV I always have to DVR things in time so maybe next time she says it's gonna be on I'll be able to catch it because wouldn't that be cool Alright, so this one's headed to Texas. Alright, so on to the last one for this video. This is headed to Malaysia. And I am not personally shipping this to Malaysia. I am shipping this to a location in the U.S. first. So, I have just a U.S. address for me. We're putting in a spiked cider. A winter wonderland. A mistletoe. We have a Mary Cranberry and a Wildberry Blizzard. I'm gonna put this one here on the side. We're going to put in a North Pole. Now this is, I don't think I've said this at any part of my video, this is peppermint and vanilla. It's so good. So I've never actually had a macaron in my life and that was pretty much convincing me of it. I need to have one of those some someday somehow. I don't know how, but I'd like to. <laughs> so I'm going to tuck a little shred over there and I did go ahead and cover this up because it's going to have a little bit of a longer journey. And we're going to create a little barrier and sense there. Putting in the Plum Crazy Lights. This is probably about as close as I'm going to get to Rainbow for a little while. I am... <sighs> Confession time. It's hard to believe. I know you're going to be completely shocked. But I'm so over rainbows right now. <laughs> this is the closest that I could get to making rainbows. And like rainbow sprinkles. But the thought of making a rainbow soap or whatever right now, I'm like, no, thank you. <laughs> I know. I don't want to do it. Don't make me do it. Oh, I'll, I'll get back into it. Don't worry. It will get done again. But I need a little break from the rainbows. So we're putting in the soap. Putting in a wax melt. Ooh. I'm sorry but I'm not going to put in a cocoa because I don't, hmm. See for me, I'm only sending this to the US. So I normally would just put in a cocoa, but I know it's headed to Malaysia. So I think I'm gonna hold off on putting in the food. I don't like to send food items overseas. Forgot it. 
I just got really distracted. I was went to print my label for the last order and it wouldn't the Dymo was out of labels. So I know like I know to ask when to ask for help. And I know that The Dymo and I don't get along. So I texted my husband. I said, can you pretty please come up here and change the Dymo labels? Well, it didn't go so well for him. He was calling it bad names. He was, he's like, you could have done this better than I could have at this point. So I guess I'll be good next time and I won't ask for help. I will just fight with it the same as he fights with it. <laughs> it was just like spinning out labels and wouldn't stop. And we're like, whoa, stop. Oh, goodness. Anyway. All right. So this is what we're going to do for this one. So I'm going to put in my card and everything. I'm going to slide that in like so. And we're gonna get this all tucked in nicely. I am going to go print this one and I will come back for the last four orders. <laughs> 